animatedanatomy.com. Let's start by explaining the piriformis muscle. The piriformis muscle has the origin on the sacrum. This is this bone here. You can see it. The origin comes from the sacrum. Now the insertion of the piriformis muscle is the greater trochanter. Okay. Now the piriformis muscle is innervated by the nerve the piriformis and it comes from the S1 and S2 nerve roots. The function is clear because it belongs to the lateral uh, rotator group and it serves for the lateral rotation of the tight. Now we have the obturator externus muscle. The obturator externus muscle has the origin on the obturator foramen right here. It also has the origin on the obturator membrane. It is the membrane on this foramen. The insertion of this muscle, however, is the greater trochanter of the femur, and more precisely the medial aspect of this greater trochanter. If you remember, I have talked about it, and here is the greater trochanter, so it comes on the medial aspect of the greater trochanter. This muscle is innervated by the nerve called the obturator nerve, and it comes from L3 and L4. You can find that nerve here. It serves for the adduction of the tight and of course again a lateral rotation since it belongs to the group of lateral rotators. Now we also have the obturator internus and the obturator internus goes from the inner side of the obturator membrane and the inner side of the foramen uh, of the obturator foramen and then it inserts on a greater trochanter. This muscle is also innervated by the obturator nerve and it serves for the abduction of the hip and it's also laterally rotating the hip. Now we have very two interesting muscles. Those are called the gamelous muscles. The superior gamelous muscle and the inferior gamelous muscle. The inferior one has the origin on the ischial tuberosity. Now if we look at the ilium bone with a more detailed illustration here, you will see here this is the spine of ischium and that's where the gamelus superior comes from. And then here on the ischial tuberosity you have the gamelus inferior origin. Now those two muscles both have the insertion on the obturator internus. So they join here and they insert basically on this muscle. They have the function of lateral rotation of the hip. There is also one more muscle here, and that is the quadratus muscle. The quadratus muscle also has the origin on the ischial tuberosity, and the insertion is actually on the intertrochanteric crest, lower than greater trochanter. If you look at it here, you will see the intertrochanteric crest and that's where it inserts. We have the tuberosity of ischium and the intertrochanteric crest, so the muscle goes this way. If you look at it here, and that's this muscle here. This muscle is performing one function, and that is the lateral rotation of tight. Now I will talk about the tight muscles, and I will start by explaining the anterior compartment. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.